kind of a bait and switch. This gets the kids wanting to come to the Honor Academy and they think it's going to be like this, but it's really not. Um, and then the other thing is you could even see some of the works-based theology in Ron's talk last night. You know, at one point he talks about, and I agree with this, it's a process. You know, we're rusty, God has to clean us off. It takes a while. It's a process. You know, and God works with us, not a microwave. And then during the altar call he says, you know, let's all by tomorrow morning promise before God that we're not going to have any more rust. Well, which is it, Ron? Is God going to work with me in a process that's long-term and he understands my flaws and my weaknesses, or do I have to be a good super Christian by tomorrow? And it's kind of double speak. so there's an emphasis on being a super Christian, on performance, on being awesome and radical, instead of letting God's love permeate you, flow through you to other people, um, which I think, which I've come to believe is more, it's more important to love people in whatever way that looks than to try to be some on-fire radical person that just does a lot of stuff. Does that make sense? So if I'm hearing you right, you're not, you don't have a lot of problems with ATF. You don't right. think ATF is a problem. No. You got saved in one. Yeah. Your major, and so you don't think that ATF is damaging and harmful really. in and of itself. No. But when you take it to the next level and get more involved, like in the Academy, things like that's when you see it like doing damage. Exactly, exactly.